Hi, this is Paul again. Now we'll go on to lesson 8. In my last video, lesson 7, we showed the size 6 icosa and we showed the golden ratio rectangle. We also showed that 5 icosetas would fit perfectly along the diagonals of the rectangle. And now we can show the geometry of the left rung and the right rung of ZDNA. I showed this geometry for ZDNA in more detail in some of my earlier videos. You probably notice in them earlier videos that the rectangle is in the horizontal position. But that doesn't make any difference, it's just the orientation. So now we'll take this ZDNA geometry and we start going to the B-type DNA geometry. Now in this diagram in front of you, I show a red pentagon and a green pentagon. I'm just showing the edges. So now I'm going into the camera view to give you a better look at these pentagons. So now take a glimpse at it and then we'll go back to the scene that we were. Now I've got something interesting to show you. I'm going to move a copy of this group with 10 icosetas and I'm going to move it along the vector. Now isn't that something? And now we make a copy in the opposite direction. And now you can see that the red pentagon and the green pentagon lines up perfectly to the faces of the dodeca. So now we'll go back to where we started and we'll repeat this just showing the icosas and the pentagons. And you can see that the red and green pentagons line up perfectly to the faces of the dodeca and we also show a couple of pentagons in the center with a smaller gap. I showed this icosa gap in my earlier videos and I called it the Slimbo Gap. But I think in this scene, you can make more sense of it. Now we'll take away most of this stuff and we'll just focus on the green and red pentagon on the faces of the dodeca. Now you can see that we have an incredible alignment. When we give it a camera view, it looks even better. We have the white pentagon and the red outer touching each other. Maybe they can be called dual in pentagons. The dual pentagons between the icosa and the dodeca could be a very important discovery because this shows the bridge from the icosa to the dodeca and the five cube arrangement. And now I've got something else to show you that's very interesting. Now when I show two icosas with them red and green pentagons, just take a look of how they line up. The red vertex goes to the center of the green icosa and the green vertex goes to the center of the red icosa. Isn't that something? Okay, now we'll show a cyan icosa in the center. Now look at the vertices of the cyan icosa. They stick out a little bit from the faces of the dodeca. So I've decided to call these slimbo nipples. Okay, now we'll focus on the dueling pentagons, the ones on the dodeca and the icosa. In the earlier videos, I showed the length of a size 3 icosa edge. So and that's all we got to do is double that length. So I showed double that length. We also showed the size 6 dodeca edge. Okay, now I'm going to try and figure out the distance between them two dodeca faces. So I've put together the geometry so that we can figure out the length of Y from the vertex to the center of the pentagon. Now we know the dodeca edge length and we also know that the angle is 36 degrees. So by using the trigonometry calculator on the web, it's easy to get the edges. We also need to know the vertex length to the center of the dodeca. That's going to be half the diagonal of a 600 cube. 
so that will be root 3 so now we can show the x and the y of that right angle triangle so we only need to look for the z so by using the Pythagoras calculator on the web we can get the z so if we double the distance of z we get the distance between the two faces okay now we have to look for the distance between the two vertices of the icosa np1 and mp2 now for this length i'm going to take you back to an earlier clip from the earlier videos and you can see on this video that the length between np1 and mp2 will be equal to four times the length between the icosetas which is lb and it's 217 pico and that length comes to 871.848 so now when we take the length of 2z away from that look what we left with we show a slimbo gap of 46 and the nipple is 23 so that brings us to the end of lesson 8 and this is Paul saying thank you very much for looking at the video.